Hello. How are you? Oh, right. We're a stranger. Yes, yeah. long time. It's been too yeah. long. Yes. Ah, can I have a lager, please? Yes, indeed, yes. What are you going to have? I'll have a lemonade, please. Not drinking? No. No? no. You never do, do you? No. None of my vices. Anna, you've created a marvellous atmosphere down here at the Jolly Butchers. Yeah. When did it all start? Oh, about in the 30s. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time. Yes. Yeah. But you've seen some changes, yeah, haven't you? Indeed, I have. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. In that Before time, Anna, you've, uh, you've worked with quite a few well-known oh, musicians yes, and yes, singers, haven't yeah. you? Can you tell us about them? Well, I've um, worked with, um, let's see, um, Agar. Mm. Um, Mick Mulligan mm. and uh, at the festivals, you know, Chris Barb and the lot, you know, mm. uh, and also um, Derek Warren, you know, he's with Ted Heath. Yes, yeah. now, he, but, he's, he yeah. was your pianist. He was my pianist, it was in Colin Bates, mm. Mm. which was uh, Terry Lightfoot's pianist, yeah. and he's now Kenny Ball's pianist. Matt Factor was here about a fortnight ago. Was he? And he honoured us with a Yes. Some music, yes. Love. Yes. Did you, you sang with him, obviously. Oh, indeed, yeah. indeed, because he got kind of modern yeah. style, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the English jazz scene in general, Anna? Well, frankly, as a musician, as they, they are good. I, I'm not disputing that. Mm. But they're too perfect. No feel, and, you know, mm. they play correct. They don't miss a note, you know, and they're dead, dead from the neck up, you know. Don't you right. think this is this is the thing? I mean, No, uh, no, I don't think jazz, jazz has played that as you really feel, you know, right from the heart, you know, right mm. from the, you know, right, truly speaking, right from your guts. Mm. You know? Which is what you give out here, yeah. I know, I've seen and, it. Uh, and I think the only people who do that are the Americans. Mm. I love the American jazz, mm. I love it, because it's casual, they don't care, you know, if they miss a note, it's a genius note. Of course. Is yeah. he, is he, but uh, still, I don't know a note about music, so really probably I... I'm wrong, but you, still. You, never, you, never, you were never taught to sing, were you? No, 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 no. No, it's just a, I get, well, I don't say I sing. to sing all the stuff from Showboat. I love that kind of music, you know. Yeah. And then when I came in the pub, I shall never forget the first time when the Americans were here, I was singing, I, I, I shall never forget the song, Diner. Yes. And um, there was a lieutenant in the bar and he said to my barmaid, who's the man seen in the <laughs> smoke room? <laughs> she said, it's not a man, she said, it's a woman. Uh. So he said, no. She said, go and look. And he came and looked, you know. Oh, he said, this is the place for us, the English Sophie Tucker. Yeah. And they named me the English yeah. Sophie Tucker. In fact, Sophie Tucker was your idol, wasn't she? Oh, I loved her, yes. Yeah. I think she was wonderful, yes. Did you set out to model her? No, no or? one could ever do that. Mm. No, you can't do that. You can do our material, but there's only one Sophie Tucker. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can't do that. I don't like people who try to think that's someone. Yeah. You can sing their songs, but... She's the tops. She was great. Oh, wonderful. They don't make them like that anymore. Did you ever think of taking it up professionally no, yourself, Anna? No. Uh, why no. Why not? Well, I, well uh, you know, uh, I think I always thought to myself, I had my chances, mm. Mm. didn't want them. My other people who worked with me, they made it. Mm -hmm. I knew I'd have to either go right up top or down below. Mm. And I knew I'd never get up top. So I like to do it as I like, when I like, and how I like. And I enjoy it. I love it. Yes!
title Black Anna come from? Well, it's a funny thing you should ask me that, you know. The Red Arrows. Oh, yeah. They used to use here a lot. And um, they all see me in black. I dress in nothing but black. Mm -hmm. Name me Black Anna. And, and that's that, and they think yeah. there's a reason I dress in black, you know, they, they get the idea. Mm. They say, I've had people ask me what order I belong to. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bad one, I told them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then um, students from Paris came over mm. and they wrote a song, which is in the smoke room. Which is on the wall, yes. yes. in French, yes. about me, uh, yeah. about Black Anna. Now, in fact, you're known all over the world, aren't you? In fact, you've got postcards and uh, posters all over the wall from everybody. Can you tell us about them? Well, if um, people who come here, you know, and the students and the visitors, Americans, Russians, mm. Chinese, and they send me, you know, um, sing from Singapore, they send me cards to thank me for the entertainment that I've given them the night time. And I don't know what makes them say that, because I can hardly believe that. They said they, they've never been in a place like this. No. I well, understand it. Well, I don't know because I don't go around, you know, anything like that. Yeah. But um, they say they've got nothing like it, you know. Even in Talking about your, your customers here, they mostly are all students, certainly a lot of the young generation. Yes, yes. What do you think of them? Oh, I don't mind them. Yeah. I don't mind them at all. After all, like they are you know, different to what we used to be years ago. Why do you think they come to you when you're singing songs, really, that their grandmother sang? You know? Well, I don't know, but really, they, they like it, you know, and they'll accept it if it's delivered to them. Yeah. But as I told you right from the start, our musicians just play. Mm. They don't participate with the audience, which is my target. Mm. Participate, bring them in, they love it. How is it, Anna, when you, you come down here and you, what, about half past nine, ten o'clock at night, you start singing? Do you always feel like it? No, indeed not. Mm. No, I'm, I'm the grandmother upstairs, you know, a housework which I hate. Yeah. Oh, I loathe. I'm no domestic woman. <laughs> no, but when I come down, when I hear that music going, mm, I'm the greatest, I'm the female Cassie Clay, you know. Oh, the cat garden. 